Wear the proper safety clothing, such as gloves, goggles, and uniform, suitably, and make sure to avoid wearing necktie, long hair, and losing clothing. When the tire rotates, the operators should stand beside the machine, and the unauthorized persons should be kept away from the machine. Plug in the power unit with the same configured power to the power indicated on the label. Check if each part of the machine is intact. Mount tire. Use the suitable cone to firmly lock the tire onto the main shaft of the wheel balancer. Input Dimension Measure three parameters of DIS, BR, and DIA. Press the corresponding keys to input the three parameters into the corresponding windows. When use the automatic scale, the machine will automatically access the value. Manual input the value of BR. Dynamic balance mode operation. Input the three parameters of the tire, DIS, BRE, and DIA. Then the default balancing mode of the machine is dynamic. Press start button to start the machine. After stop, the left and right window will display the inside and outside unbalanced values. Take the weights of the corresponding weight and attach them at the 12 o'clock position. When the entire position lamp lights, once again start the machine testing and the unbalanced values displayed is in the range of balancing accuracy. Static Balancing Mode Operation Press the Dynamic and Static Balancing Mode Conversion key on the keyboard and then the FTA light will show. The three parameters of the tire have been set up. There's no need to set up again. Start the machine and begin testing. When the machine rotation stops, the unbalancing values will be displayed. Rotate the tire, and when the entire indicating lamp lights, attach the weights of the corresponding weight at the 12 o'clock position, and start the machine testing again to complete the balancing operation. Motorcycle Tire Balancing Mold First, Remove the thread shaft of the wheel balancer and mount the motorcycle clamp for the CB956 wheel balancer on the main shaft of the wheel balancer. Remove the original measure head on the scale handle and mount the extended scale for motorcycle measurement.
use the motorcycle clamp to mount the motorcycle tire onto the wheel balancer main shaft and use the automatic measure scale to measure and the value of DIS and DIA will be automatically input into the window and use the BR measure scale to measure the width of the tire and the value of BR will be manually input into the BR window according to the ratio of motorcycle rim dimension to the width select the corresponding dynamic and static balancing mode generally speaking when the ratio of dimension to width is more than 5 operate motorcycle tire static balancing mode and if less than 5 operate the motorcycle tire dynamic balancing mode Alu function, aluminum alloy tire balancing operation. Press the alu key on the keyboard. Alu one, alu two, alu three, alu four will be displayed repetitiously. First, adjust the mode to alu one to start the machine. After stop the rotation, the left and right window will display the unbalanced values inside and outside. Select the corresponding gram of weight and attach the weight on the position indicated in the picture. Inside, attach the corresponding weight at the 12 o'clock position, 3 fourth inches inwards the rim, based on the value of DIS. Outside, attach the corresponding weight at the 12 o'clock position, 1 and a half inches inwards the rim based on the value of BR, ALU2, ALU3, and ALU4 share the same function as above. There's no need to describe here. The defining position will be found in the operation manual, self-defining the OPT which means optimize the balancing mode demo. The user can self-define the optimize the tire unbalancing standard. According to the use condition of the tire, the user can set up the max unbalancing value to be optimized. When the static balancing value exceeds the setup value, we should exceed the unbalancing OPT operation. In the normal dynamic balancing mode, rotate the tire and the unbalancing value will be displayed. Press POT key when the tire unbalancing value exceeds the value that has been set up by the user. The display will show yes. If less than that, the machine will return to the unbalancing value display interface. When the unbalancing value exceeds the setup value, it will display yes and automatically enter PO1. At this moment, make the nozzle of the tire be the reference to rotate to the 12 o'clock position. Use the chalk to mark at the tire nozzle. Press PLT key and PLT2 will show. Take off the tire and use the tire changer to demount the tire and mount the rim on the machine again. And position the rim nozzle 
at the 12 clock position. Start the machine when rotation stops. Push the tire until the whole tire indication lamp lights. Mark at the 12 o'clock position of the rim. Demount the rim and use the tire changer to make this point of the rim coincide with the marking point. Inflate. Mount on the machine again. Start the machine to test to complete the OPT. And then operate the other balancing operation of the dynamic balancing. As per the above operation, you can achieve the balancing of the tire with the relatively less weight. Weight Splitting Demo When we execute the alu balancing, we need to hide the weight behind the spoke. Input Tire Data Select the alu balancing mode to execute the balancing operation. The normal alu weight attachment method is to attach the weighting side. Select the weight split function key on the keyboard to enter the split interface. First, input the number of spoke. Press plus and minus key of DIS. You can increase, decrease the number of the spoke. Press DIA plus to confirm. Push any spoke to the position of 12 o'clock and press DIA plus to save. The weight split will be operated on the adjacent spokes. By attaching the weight at the two adjacent positions when the inside outside lamps light, we can achieve the weight splitting operation. Note, this wheel balancer offers four user modes. You need preset before calling. Press the programming key and hold on for about five seconds. And the user one will be displayed. You can select the other three user modes by pressing DIS key and then confirm the tire data and the mode needed to be balanced and press the save key to save the current user input status. Calling method. Press and hold on the programming key for 5 seconds and press the up and down key of the DIS to select the user mode, pressing DIA plus to confirm the operation.
the else gram key on the keyboard can achieve the unit conversion between gram and ounce. The weight key can achieve the display of the residual unbalancing value. Program setup. You can enter by pressing the programming key. OPT. You can self-defining the minimum gram to be optimized. Pressing programming key to enter and increase and decrease by the up and down key of DIS. Press programming key to confirm and then press the programming key to open varied functions. P. Protective hood function start. On. Closed. Off. Same to the above. SP. Protective hood control function start. On. Closed. Off. The same to the above. CRA APP minimum unbalancing unit 1 or 5 same to the above bus APP minimum unbalancing unit 10 to 50. Same to the above. BIP beeper. Same to the above. Rule automatic scale. Same to the above. Up. Enter the self calibration. When display up, pressing the programming key twice to enter the testing of the machine and user self calibration. But when not executing the testing of the machine and user self calibration, after complete all the function input, press save key to save.